Yeah, like it's something that's happening with this particular model. Well, you know what? You know, you know what? Model with your craziness. We're just going to even though I showed you how to unwrap it with that model, I am just going to use one of the I'm just going to use this guy right here. Actually, let's use this guy cuz he has a lot of hard curves to him. So I'm just going to use this guy so we can show the painting features inside of coat. Now, this model here is actually included with uh, coat so when you install coat you get this little this little robot guy he's he's pretty cool I like him he's pretty awesome when you look at him so he already has and you can tell okay so it's not it's not the fact it, it is that it is that that heads geometries for some reason because this guy has an ambient occlusion map and his ambient occlusion works just fine he's got a cavity mask and the cavity mask is the curvature map so when you see these these kind of whited out edges, this is your that is your curvature map. And I can turn this off. So I can start painting with this guy. So I've got him in here. So let's paint with him. Let's paint on him. So I'm going to go on to layer zero, and I'm just going to call this plastic. And what I'm going to do is I am going to get this red plastic right here. And you can see with my smart window preview popping up, it shows me what it's going to look like. I'm going to minimize this because I don't want to see all that. And I'm just going to come in here and let's get the bucket and let's fill our objects. Nope, that's that one thing on it. Let's fill it. Let's fill it, fill it, fill it. So you can see I, I fill that, and that's just that part of my model right there. Now you'll say, like, well, you know. Dr. Media, like you had this on, you weren't able to paint on it. Well, the ambient occlusion is basically laying on top of everything else, so you really can't paint on with your ambient occlusion turned on. So I'm going to bring this out. I'm going to get some metal. So like these bolts here. So all my bolts, I'm going to make those. And I'm just using my fill. All right, I'm using the fill function that way it's going to fill it all the way it's going to fill it all the way up it's going to fill it all the way up there so all these things are here are metal now I should have made another I should have made another layer cuz the first layer was set to be plastic and now all this stuff here is on the same layer as that I wasn't diligent like I should have been all right so boop this is but you can see this is actually pretty simple to go through here and fill him in really quick. Let's see. Let's change up the metals. So I'm going to go here to metals and get some of these. Ah, let's get like this. Let's get like this gold. I like. I like wheels. Let's see what he looks like with his gold all over him. Oh yeah, that's all scratched up and stuff. It's kind of cool. Look at that. It's all scratchy. It's all itchy and scratchy. So there's metal. Let's put on these. Let's put it on like these metal round pieces in here. She put it on his little fingers. On his little digitalia. On a little digitalis. So that oh bam, oh bam, bam, bam. Now just going through here and getting this, you know, it's not gonna be perfect. It's cause I'm just kind of just grabbing stuff and dropping stuff on him. You don't want to you don't want to think about yours a little bit more. Ooh. Oh man, that, that that's that's a snazzy little robot right there is what that is. He's snazzy. Let's make his little pads this like copper. I know it's a very very earth earth tone red theme we got going on here with him. 
and let's say like a little his little oh yeah that's nice look at that look at that look at, look at that guy right there he's cool he knows what's going on and I'm gonna go get like some rubber pieces so here's some rubber like his little midsection here make this all rubber so they can like bend right and let's not make those springs rubber. You thought I was about to do that, didn't you? I was like, I was going to put this, make them rubber. That's not right. I'm not going to do that. That's silly. Rubber springs. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, guy? What's wrong with you? I'm going to make rubber springs. It's metal. Bring the metal. These are metal, too. So those are cool. And I'm going to get some paints. So let's go in here. Ooh. Oh yeah, I like that blue right there. Oh, that's a that's a good accent. Yeah, look at that. It's all scratched up and kind of scarred. Eh, no. Do we like that? Do we like that? Oh, maybe this is look. Oh, maybe I like this a little bit better. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of like this a little bit better. Keeps with that kind of reddish earth tone thing that we were going for before. He's all over the place in colors. He's like, I'm a veritable rainbow of color. I'm a veritable rainbow. A veritable rainbow of colors. I know, you're, you guys are like, what is wrong with you, Doc? Doc, do you need a Doc? And I can honestly tell you, no, I don't need a doctor. But maybe, maybe I do. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I don't know. There's some paints. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Maybe I'm going to change this salmon looking color to this reddish orange. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 That, that's better. And you can see that the uh, shader is taking into account the lighting information um, here inside of uh, coat. And it's taking it's taking all that stuff into account as uh, I paint. I'm gonna paint his little his little digits. His little, look at his little fingers. He got he's got little fingers. Yeah yeah yeah. So there he goes. Um. -da 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 -da. So let's say rubber again and rubber for his pad soles down here. So he's wearing like Nikes. There you go. There you go, little boy. There you go, little buddy. There you go, little buddy. So, let's say, what's in, what's in the default right here? What's in default? Nothing. Nothing. Mm. Scratches? Nah. Wood? Do we dare? Yeah, let's dare not. And then I give him, yeah, something with all this. Eh, I, I mean, I, I, I want something that has a little bit more character to it, right? I want something with a little bit more character. Maybe he's Metalbot. Oh no, I like that. There you go. Got some pieces. Get all these pieces back here. Let's get some more chrome on this, or copper rather. Like this stuff here is like all copper. So we got a little bit of old and new mixed in here. And the bases of these things are here need to be like super shiny. Like they just came off the assembly line. Didn't say it made sense. It just said it looked cool. Right? There's no way that should still be so shiny when he's been rusted out all over the place everywhere else. So I'm just kind of tossing some different uh, shaders on top of him. Just to get some variety going on with this guy. You know? You know, let's give him some camo. 
I forgot about the camo shader in here. Now I've used some of these smart materials just the way that they are um, before, and they work really well. They're 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 uh, they're pretty cool uh, when it comes to you know laying out something really quick. Like I say, I I don't. I would suggest that you get your own 2D images and then you can then make them into smart materials and it's pretty easy to make smart materials coat takes you through the process it's not like you have to you know figure it out on your own so like figure it out you dweeb just gonna do everything else in camouflage I don't know why I guess because I'm tired of clicking on him I have I love him not he's not my creation he is but a robot boy uh, and then that's almost it uh, get these bolts on his chest and boom 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 boom, boom. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, and I'm just gonna, just so that can be something. So it can be, so these guys can be something. I don't, I don't want to just leave them. Everything else has some kind of texture on it. I don't want to leave these guys kind of out there. Let's do this. I like it. I like it. He's angry. He's like, how dare you? Sassafras. He's like, how dare, how dare you, pitiful humans? I am the destroyer. No, okay. So, I got this in here. Now, if you look up here at the very top of your of your window, you'll notice I've got this. Looks like a little arrow for the way the light's coming, and you can see as I move this, the Re the reflections and stuff are actually physically accurate. It's moving and changing, and you know everything's happening the way that it should. Uh, I could change the brightness of this, and you know basically if I unblur it, that's my image that's in the background. That's what's lighting him. If I blur this back up, it's just a blurred. It's just you can turn the blur on the background, so that's all that it is. Um, but I can th I can move my light around and it's pretty cool. Now to get this out of 3D coat, it's really super simple. All you have to do is go here to go file, go export objects and textures, and then choose an export. That's it. So I'm gonna export it right here, and I'm gonna export this as little robot. Look at that. I'm going to export it as an FBX file because I can. And I'm going to say metalness, roughness metalness is going to be the texture export for as a PBR shader. And then you can choose what you're going to export out to. If you were to say, look at that, I can do 3ds Max 2017 physical material. I, I can actually just export this out into that. I'm going to export this out into Marmoset. So I'm going to say Marmoset GGX. And I'm just going to do metalness. And it breaks down all of the images and everything that needs to come out. So it already has a preset of how this would come out to be brought into Marmoset. I'm going to get a metalness map, a gloss map, normal map, occlusion map, emissive emission map, and then also albedo map. So I'm going to get all my maps. Everything comes out. And then how do I want to export your model? Low poly or mid poly? I'm going to say mid poly, So which is where it's currently sitting right now. So export. It's going to, ex it's going to export everything, including my geometry. I'm going to say OK. And let it export and give it some time. And you can see there's my albedo, there's my metalness, there's my gloss, there's my normal, there's my occlusion, and there's my emission. And everything just pops out. It's like pop, 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 pop. All popped out. So I'm going to, I'm actually been uh, testing and tweaking on uh, Marmoset version 3. So if you haven't seen Marmoset 3, you're about to see Marmoset 3 right now. And it would be right now. I need to put it onto my second monitor because it's all the way over here in no man's land. 
And I was not about to say No Man's Sky. That darn game. So, Marmoset 3, I'm going to go ahead and import my model. So, Control I also imports your model. And I'll go to desktop. And I'm going to say Little Robot. There it is. Open. And there he comes. And you can see these are all the shaders that came out with him. If I came in here and changed the color of this, you'll see. Well, that's not his shader. That's not his shader. This is probably a shader. This is his shader. So you can see everything changes to that. So these shaders here, I can delete these. These were, I guess they were part of the model that were in there. So it's not a big deal, but I can delete them because there's no point in having them in there if they're not being used. At least that's my, that's how I feel about it. So to set my, to set this guy up inside of Marmoset, um, I'm just going to go, I'm, I'm not going to go through how to set up inside of Marmoset. I'll do that in a separate video. I'm just going to go set this up just so we can see all of our maps on this. So you can see, look, my, my uh, color map came in with no problem. Everything came in on it. It looks good. Everything's there. Um, and I'm going to go get my normal. And my normal maps, everything came in with my normal maps as well. So that's all fine. And I'm going to bring in, I think I also had a roughness map. So my roughness, well, I had a gloss map. So there's my glossiness. And then I had an emissive map. I don't know why I had an emissive map. I don't think I put it. I don't think I put anything that was emissive on there, but I, it, it told me that I, it's like, you have an emissive map. So uh, there's my emissive. Yeah, there's nothing in it. So I don't know why I threw it out. So I do have an occlusion, though. So I'm going to get an occlusion. Like I say, I'm not going to use this as a means to go over all the things for setting up um, Marmoset. I'm just doing this to show that these maps did work. They all came out, and they came out rather well. There's my occlusion. Um, and then my metalness. And no, none. So reflection. So let's go. There we go. So that's there, that's there. Um we get rid of it's just Huh. He's all shiny. He's all shiny bright. So let's make this metalness. So now I can put my metalness map in there. So metalness. There we go. There's the metalness. And everything else looks like it's pretty, pretty good. All my maps are in there. You can invert maps. So now it makes that stuff super glossy. It's like he's covered in wet water. As opposed to dry water. I know, I know, I know. You know what? I don't know. So there's my horizontal smoothing. Kind of gives me a backlight look. So I can see, look, he, he rendered out really good. He's he's exactly what I wanted. There, that's, that's the guy. That's the guy. That's the guy that I wanted. That's my guy right there. So, yeah. So he, it works. See that? It works. Now... Funny thing is, is you actually do have ambient occlusion that you can run from screen space here inside of um, Marmoset. And I'm just going to... Yeah, all that stuff is sitting in there. That's, that's kind of nice. I, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, 
but that's that's my guy and that's that's realistically how you end up coming out of um coat coat's a really easy program to to get your head wrapped around you just have to take the time to sit down with it and just wrap your head around it i mean that's the that's honestly the hard part is just kind of sitting down and saying oh okay well this is this is awesome so how do i make this work how do i make this happen and i'm just flitzing around so how you know how do i make this uh how do i make all this stuff uh easy breezy beautiful cover girl you know how doth i do it how do i do it yeah look at him he looks he looks all real he look all real and stuff it's nice yeah 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 he look good he look good he look good that boy that boy shining right though he's shining he's shining turn that child brightness up boom look at that boom boom I'm gonna do a blurred sky but you can see working inside of uh, coat is not too shabby um, it doesn't take you much to be able to get the things that you're looking for um, you just have to you just have to play with it and know exactly what you are looking for I think that's the big thing about it get some chromatic admiration on that boom look at that look at that gonna push out that boom 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 I know I need to stop that's dad looks sick he's sick look at him Copperbot. Copperbot. That, that's his name right there. Copperbot. Copperbot. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. But, uh, yeah, working inside of coat, pretty, pretty simple. Um, and just have to take your time and, and, uh, and get it going. But it, it's, it's, it's not, it's not hard at all. Just, uh, get it going I, mean, that's, I think that's the big thing about it it's like just just do it get it going all right so until next time we will see you right here on the channel if you like the things that we're doing here on the channel then please 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 hit that subscribe button if you like what we're doing and give us a thumbs up if you don't like what we're doing give us a thumbs down and leave a comment i like to know what could be improved or things like that and leave constructive comments um you know i'm not gonna sit there and go through a bunch of, I think that you're an idiot. Okay, well, that's your opinion. Um, I'm winning at life. Uh, I enjoy it. So you can think that all you want to. Um, but if you like what we're doing here on Phoenix and Sep, then leave us a comment, leave us a thumbs up. And if you really like what we do here, huh, maybe, you know, subscribe. Anyway, until next time, my digital mutants, it is I, Domico L. Cunningham, better known as Dr. Media.